there are efforts going on around the world to identify a victim of slavery, a victim of human trafficking, and somehow feeling that identifying them and removing them from the person who is persecuting them, the job is done. Well, of course it's not. But when we've rescued someone from the tragic situation they're in, the human trafficking right here in Cincinnati, it could have been as I visited India many months ago now, the psychological damage that has been done to that young person, often the physical damage, or the recovery that's needed, it takes time and it takes caring people and it takes multiple dimensions, both in education, helping one get a job, because many of these folks, they can't return to their home. They almost had to leave their home. So how are we going to find a way they can live? You can't be free if you're not in some environment that's caring for you. Or if you don't have some economic way to keep yourself going without falling into another trap. I think in many ways, the biggest gap we have in this country is in recovery. In some ways, we came away feeling, without being real students of the subject, that there's more going on in India than there is today in this country. So those are things that we've got to get a lot better at, and we can, and we are wonderful examples that we're going to showcase on the End Slavery Now website that are already going on. It's not like we're not doing anything, or we don't have good examples of what it means to do it right. But we need to do it far more. And I hope that we're going to be able to engage millions of more people in knowing that this is a real issue, and seeing that it can be addressed and overcome by people working together, and to learn some of the how to do it so that they can become engaged themselves.